Hello everybody, today I'll be reviewing this Westwood S1300 sit-on lawnmower. This thing is very good in my opinion. I've been using it for a long time and it cuts grass very, very finely, which is what you want with a sit-on lawnmower. This thing right now probably costs around 800 pounds, which isn't really that expensive for what you're getting with this beautiful machine. So let's take a look at the front. And right here you have the S1300 logo that's at the very very front of the tractor like where car brands will place their logo on a car on the bonnet with the westwood logo underneath that and it just looks like an old tractor it's very square as you see this one's a bit smashed up well on the engine cover you have 16 individual vents here for it to cool the engine you can open that by pulling this thing up or using the top of the engine to just lift it up like that. In my opinion, that's actually easier to be honest. There we go. Once you open that, you see the engine inside. So this engine is a 12 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. It's a very nice engine. It's pretty loud, but it produces a lot of power for what it is. So here you have your fuel tank. You can twist this to open it and fill it up by putting some fuel in there it runs on petrol not diesel so don't be putting diesel in there otherwise you won't be able to drive this thing we have the engine plaque there Briggs and Stratton Corp made in the USA it is actually a very good engine to be honest and to pull the engine cover down all you gotta do is just push it down simple on the side of this sit on lawnmower we have the two blades one on either side you, you can use these blades to cut things that you can't usually cut with the big blade but don't put your hands on it when it's on it'll cut it off literally so let's move on to the cockpit area so we have a steering wheel which is the biggest thing here and it's a good steering wheel it's the steering isn't very light on this thing and it's not heavy it's just right for a lawnmower underneath that on the right side we got the ignition switch we'll start this thing up in a bit but not yet and here we have the mode selector so when it's like this this is where you can drive it on road well on tarmac and when it's like that that is for cutting grass on the left side we have the choke you have to start this tractor using the choke and you can use the choke while you're driving but it's best to just leave it in the middle so there are three pedals on this tractor on the right side we have the accelerator and reverse and on the left we have essentially the handbrake it doesn't have a brake like you do in cars because once you let go of the accelerator it will literally just stop so that will be the brake and the handbrake is just there for like an emergency stop or something. So on the right side underneath the chair, we have the trimmer. This is where you can choose how thick or thin you want the grass to be cut and how long or short it would be. And next to that is if you want the roller down or up, just keep that down. It will make your grass cutting even better. So we have the seat here. It's all right for cutting grass. It's quite comfy. And underneath that, we have a little storage area. But on this tractor, it's taken off. So you lift the seat up by just pulling it up to get access to that storage area. When you want to put it down, put it down. So let's take a look at the back of this sit-on lawnmower. So this is where all the grass gets collected. Once, once you cut it, it will go into this bag here and you'll be able to empty it using this, take a look at how you do it. And once you empty it, you'll be able to cut grass again. But once it's full, you'll see this on the ground once you're cutting the grass, so you'll know if it's full, because you'll see that. That just means that the grass can't go in, so it's just dumping it anywhere on the ground. 
All right, let's start this thing up and take it to cut some grass. Let's just reverse it out of here and we'll be able to get going. So first thing you notice with this thing, that it's very, very loud in here. But once you drive it, you get used to it, so your ears won't be deafened as much as it will be on the first try. With grass edges like these, you will have to use the blades on the side to cut them, because it will be hard to do with the blade at the back. Or you can just do them with a the strimmer, of course. So let's get going. So the first thing that you notice with this tractor is that it doesn't react with bumps very well. If you go over a bump, the steering will go all funny and you will go in a different direction than you want it to be. So always keep your hands on the steering wheel, otherwise your grass cutting won't be that good. You would have to go over the line of the bit where you just cut just a bit so you can get your cutting technique just right. Because if you don't do that, there'll still be a little bit of uncut grass in between the two lines. Where you've just been cutting the grass. So cutting around the trees, you would have to use the small blades on the sides if you don't have a strimmer. If you have a strimmer, just use that. It'll be much easier, I'm telling you. The turning circle is good if you go slow, but if you put your foot down and try and go around in a circle, it won't work. You'll be going in a circle, but it won't go in a circle very quick. It'll take a long time. The suspension is okay, I mean, it is bumpy, but you can live with it. It's not that bad. Alright, let's do the fun bit, launching this thing. Ready? Oh, oh, this thing went in the air. When you launch this thing, it's that powerful, it goes in the air. Wow, it jumps. So, this is how you empty it. You've already seen this, but you pull this thing up. You can just tilt it, and it will just empty. And the grass will come behind you, and you can pick that up afterwards with a shovel or something. So you don't leave your garden messy. This thing cuts grass very quickly compared to lawn mowers that you have to push, but that's a good thing. You can also have some fun in it sometimes as well, like when you're just driving around, you can put your foot down, do nice drifting and all that. It's very good to be honest. The bumps aren't that bad if you cruise, but you will need to drive fast so you can do the job quickly. But if you drive slow, won't, the job won't be done quickly. But the bumps aren't really that noticeable when you drive at a slow, steady pace. Let's try and take the pins here. But you see this thing is very, very maneuverable. The visibility is very good at this thing, so you can tell whether you're going to hit something or not. It's very, very good. Alright, so let's boot the thing around a bit. See how we can drive very quickly. See if it's stable, see if it drifts around the sea. Ooh, ooh, drifting is not a problem in this thing. It's very skiddy actually, like very quick as well. Oh my gosh, we hit the plan. But I think that's enough of messing about. I'm gonna end up crashing this thing. Let's just park this thing back up now. Let's 
what we need to do. To turn it off, what we need to do is just twist the key left. And just turn it off like that. It's a real banger driving this thing. A real banger. Alright, so I think this thing is a really beautiful machine and cuts grass really nicely. If you are looking for a suit on lawnmower, I think you should buy this one. As this is really good and really beautiful in all its ways. So, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you later.